What's up guys, it's Bray Thorne and it is finally that time. I'm driving up to Dallas, uh, Dallas Fort Worth, Texas for DreamHack 2022. And uh, it's exciting. I've, uh, I've never been to DreamHack before. I've always wanted to go. And um, it's, it's a pretty big event. And of course the uh, headliner there is IEM Intel Extreme Masters. The headline is Intel Extreme Masters and it's gonna be awesome. We've got uh, Intel has done me the favor of setting up a few interviews and um, you know, they're just, they've just been super welcoming. They were like, hey, if you don't get your press pass, let us know, because we'll, you know, we'll you know, work that out for you or whatever. It's just, they're super cool. So shout out to Intel for that. Thank you guys. So yeah, as usual, I overpacked. That's what I do, just letting you know. Um, that's my policy is I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. But uh, I overpacked for everything. I'm just now leaving. It's going to be about a six hour drive to get there. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just really looking forward to this. Anyway, DreamHack is a BYOC event. So BYOC, bring your own computer. People are going to be bringing custom rigs. I wanted to bring the, uh, the Revolt 3 rig, but I gave that 12700K to, uh, to Cuddles. And um, you know, so that's where that is. So I didn't have a processor for it. But instead, I brought the beast of a laptop that Intel sent to me for review, the uh, MSI Raider GE76. And that thing is an absolute monster. So we are going to put it through its paces with some gaming, maybe streaming, some video editing, all of that stuff. It's gonna be sick. I really wanna see what that thing can do. So anyway, we have a long drive ahead of us. And um, yeah, I think maybe to, uh, to help you guys out instead of you having to sit through six hours of that, Let's just do a montage. A little bit of B-roll coming your way. CDK Deals is an online marketplace that offers game keys for several different platforms and genuine software licenses at drastically reduced prices. You can even use code BRAID25 to get an additional 30% off. Here's how it works. Here we have an OEM license for Windows 10 Pro. Of course, all Windows 10 Home and Pro keys can be later upgraded to Windows 11 at no charge. Keep in mind that you'll need a new key if you build a new system or make major hardware changes. OEM keys cannot be used to upgrade from Windows 10 Home to Pro. So make sure you know which version you have installed. Here in the cart, you can use code BRAID25 to get an additional 30% off. So an OEM copy of Windows 10 Pro will drop from $22.72 to just $15.90. After your purchase is complete, click View Keys slash Codes. Click Get the Key and copy it. Then go to your Windows search bar, type out Activate, and click Activation Settings. My Windows install is already activated, so I'll be replacing it, but yours should just say Activate Windows. Paste in the key, click Activate, and you're done. Thank you, CDK Deals, for continuing to support the channel. So funny thing, and this is sort of a, uh, I guess, I guess a not super, this isn't tech stuff, this isn't whatever, it's just, I'm heading somewhere where I'm gonna meet new people from companies and whatnot. And um, at PAX, I, I had a few people ask me, hey, do you have a, do you have a business card? And I, I, I don't, I'm just a dude who makes uh, some, some videos about computers. But also I realized I shouldn't have them. Even though a lot of people that I met didn't have them, uh, and were just like, here, just, you know, hook up with me on LinkedIn or, you know, follow me on Insta or whatever. So last week I decided like, okay, you know what? Let me order some business cards. Like you can usually get them like overnight or in a few days. And I found a site called Overnight Prints. Seems pretty straightforward, right? Well, here's the funny thing. Uh, I ordered them on Saturday and uh, it was supposed to arrive Tuesday. Weekend, I get it. Holiday, sure. Tuesday's fine. Uh, so not overnight. That that's cool. I paid. I still, in order to get them on time, I still paid like 45 bucks in shipping to get it overnighted. Kind of overnight. Yeah, they're coming in tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Uh, they're going to my house, and uh, I'm not gonna be there. So 
I had to call this place in Dallas and, uh, and yeah, you know, send them the images and say, look, I need like, just give me like 50 of these. There is a thing just for press, just, just for media people and for the companies that are going to be at, at, uh, at DreamHack. Uh, and it's like a, 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 a meet and greet or networking kind of brunch thing where, you, you know, you're just supposed to meet with all the people from all the different companies. You know, you give them your info, they give you their, you know, you talk to them a bit, maybe set some stuff up, set up, set up talking about this or a meeting or interview or whatever. And I wanted my business cards for that, that that's why I wanted them. And also just for after that. And I made really cool looking ones too. But, uh, so yeah, I was just like, just make me 50 of these, please. And they're like, all right, you want them tomorrow by 11 a.m.? That'll be 50 bucks. I'm like, <laughs> well, wait, wait, really? <laughs> yeah, so thanks, Overnight Prints. I might want to consider a name change, if we're being honest. So we're still on, on our way. We're passing through, um, you know, we passed through San Antonio here. There's the place where, way over there at Ikea, where I got my setup and a great place to put together a budget setup if you want to. Go back, you know what? Go back and watch that video, my setup tour. It's already changed quite a bit and it's a lot messier, by the way, but that's okay. But yeah, that's, um, that's, where, I did my, uh, that's where I did my stuff. That's where I got my setup. Uh, in the meantime, more of this. What's up? Sorry. Oh, I, I'm freaking tired. Me too. That is, I'm used to driving to San Antonio, dude. That was a long drive. Thank you. What's up? Hi. It's good. Yep. And that's uh, 4K30 right now. How ugly is my head look? It looks beautiful. It's actually, yeah, there's I got, I got long arms. There's different yeah. FOVs, there's different FOVs. Well, first off, I don't know if I had audio there for that last bit, but we tried going to Walmart and uh, apparently Walmart's around here close at a certain time. That just feels weird, but uh, oh well. So I'm gonna head over to the hotel, get checked in. Blaston's gonna go to some small grocery store that's still open, get a few necessaries and uh, yeah. We're probably gonna call it night. I'm gonna upload all this to Cuddles. something. What's up? Look at that. Perfect. Maybe bring up a couple more. What is, oh, is that's a changing, that looks like a changing table or something. That's kind of interesting. Got the Keurig there, some free coffee, little computer desk. Love that they got Ethernet. Look at all this, these charging options. I want this lamp. Well, I looked at the rest of it. Maybe I don't. Sorry. I remember I was a kid, I used to like write on these, you know? I should probably get out of this. So I'm gonna get to, uh, I'm gonna get to uploading all of this and uh, battery's running low on this uh, screen thing here. So hope you all enjoyed the ride and we got a lot going on tomorrow. So be sure to check it out. See you in a bit.
So, I gotta tell y'all, the first day of DreamHack was crazy. I'm now exiting, I'm now exiting the BYOC area, which is the heart and soul of DreamHack, bring your own computer. Where you have PC enthusiasts from all over bringing either their custom or pre-built systems and um, you, you, are, you get assigned a seat, you, uh, you have a specific seat and everything, participate in certain tournaments, things like that. It, it's, it's amazing, really. The amount of enthusiasts here, how many PCs they've brought, it's ridiculous. And then, of course, there are all the stages where you're having broadcasts done, uh, tournaments happening as well. And this footage I got of the Intel Extreme Masters Auditorium was nuts. They're just, everything these uh, these esports teams do gets an uproar like you wouldn't believe. And see, I've got, who do we got back here? Oh, we got Furia back here. And they're doing a photo op, like right now. Look at that. They're, 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 doing, they're doing signings, photo op right now. It's, it's incredible the amount of enthusiasm here, and it makes me realize I, I don't cover esports very much, but there's a, I mean, there's a massive, massive world here. More people view esports tournaments than actual sporting events. You know, when I say actual sports, esports is sports. That's according to Shaq, okay? But no, it's, there are more viewers and more fervor, more enthusiasm here than I've ever seen in one place. So we've got a panel going on right here, right out on the floor here. We have vendors. Now, one of the best things to come out of this, I must say, is having met the people at CLX. And you may have heard me say before, like, I haven't spoken with them. That's why I don't really talk about them, because as you may know, there were some recent events that have sort of maybe a little leery about talking about a company if I don't really know who they are. Now that I do, boy oh boy, y'all can expect some very cool stuff. It's coming up soon. But they have this entire area here where they have streamers streaming from DreamHack. And what I'd like to do, let's skip over to uh, where I had a chat with a member, with someone from CLX. Check it out. Hello, my name is Jonathan Sienter. I am the community manager for CLX Gaming, and we are here at DreamHack Dallas at the Stream Studio, which is powered by our CLX RAW system. Uh, the CLX RAW is our high-end, uh, you know, customizable uh, system that we offer. In addition to the Stream Studio, we are also powering a few other parts of the show, such as free play, um, the Creator Lab, the Creator Lounge, and other locations such as that around. Um, I believe also cosplay and things like that. There's, they're spread all around, so you'll probably get to see them at some point uh, later on. Um, we also offer pre-built style systems if you're not knowledgeable about you know, the different options available to you. Maybe you're anxious about it or just anything like that. Um, but when you go to our website, our configurator not only allows you to configure the PC basically entirely, um, all the way down to minute lights, storage, graphics card, um, whatever you're looking for, basically. It also guides you on compatibility. Um, so if you were to pick in uh, a motherboard that only supports an Intel CPU, you will get an alert if you put an AMD CPU into that motherboard, and it will tell you, like, you, you, should, you should change this, it'll give you recommendations, and it'll, it'll explain these sockets don't align. Um, there are, I believe, 12 systems here at the streaming studio. They're all CLX RAW. This one specifically that we're looking at is our very nice high-end Intel system. Um, it's specifically water-cooled and kind of the flagship of what's here at the festival specifically. So people are free to apply to stream here at the stream studio. And the difference and the reason we've done this is that if you're a streamer, leaving your house typically, unless you're you know a roaming IRL style streamer, means you're not producing content anymore. Um, you know, if you want to go visit an event simply because you want to, you are no longer doing your, your job, essentially. You're no longer making money. So the whole reason we built this was so that content creators had the opportunity to come to events, um, continue to do your business, network with other content creators that are here, other streamers, other cosplayers, uh, musicians. There's all types of people that come to this festival to not just stream. There's so many things. 
Um, and our systems are built to support anything that they would do. Uh, you're, you know, people are going to be editing, they are going to be uh, encoding, they are going to be gaming and streaming simultaneously on one system. We do not want to have, you know, we don't want people to have the expectations that they need two systems to stream. We believe that's just strictly false. And so we offer, you know, the high-end things that you're going to see here, but the configurator, like I mentioned earlier, allows you to literally, if you want, downgrade parts of the system to make it more affordable, but it still shows you the metrics that you're going to get. Um, the configurator actually has a 3D Mark uh, section built into it and will show you the expected performance of your system on certain titles. My feeling is that um, FPS can be a helpful estimate, but there's so many variables. Yes. Because graphic settings, yes, but Chrome tabs in the background, mm -hmm. what's you got going on? So I try to tell people to sort of like look at overall experience and performance rather Absolutely. than FPS, but people are still hung up on it because of the industry and the way that yeah. it's pushed. But still, if you can provide that, you can provide that. Yeah, and, and it, that's it, good. Uh, the, the configurator actually shows more than just if FPS because it is a it's a full 3D mark um, breakdown. So synthetic benchmark can be really helpful for that. Yeah, um, and what's interesting is that we find based based on reviews because we send out systems to reviewers, they review it, and what they'll do is they'll compare, well, what did the configurator say I should be getting and what am I getting? And right. those numbers align under load. Um, we tell that them, a very good point. we tell them, crank the settings to max and post what you what you get because we're not interested in lying to people. Um, the benchmarks should be the benchmarks based on what you purchase and that should be your experience. Well, thank you, thank you for thank you for going over that stuff, and it's been great to talk to you guys because a yeah. lot of people have asked about CLX to me. So, great Absolutely. to meet you guys, and of course, we got more content coming up here in uh, just a bit here at DreamHack Dallas 2022. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. So, some very cool stuff going on with CLX, and I'm actually going to be having an interview with George from CLX, and he's like the marketing director. So, you can expect that in in the day two or day three video. And yes, this is going to be a lot simpler than the way we did the PAX East videos, where it was these interviews, those interviews, or whatever. And instead, it's just gonna be day one, day two, day three. Trying to keep it simple. Because there's so much going on here. I mean, again, just like at PAX East, the Intel area, the Intel establishment here is massive. So for day two, you're actually gonna see me talking to, you're gonna see an interview with George Wu, one of the people responsible for what's going on here, for everything here, uh, with the Intel Extreme Masters. I also got to meet some people from Lenovo. And some of you guys may remember me saying, go for a system integrator because OEMs are bad, with a few exceptions. Who I was talking about was Lenovo with some of their, uh, some of their systems. You had some systems and they, they use motherboards that are standard ATX. In most of their cases now, especially the desktops here on display, are mesh front panel and everything is repairable, replaceable, like, you know, computers should be. And they were very nice, it's just, we'll see if we can arrange something with them to have some kind of you know, interview and discussion with them. I also got to meet Justin Roby, happens to be a personal hero of mine, and um, we should be having a sit down interview while I'm here, because he's absolutely one of the nicest people I've ever met. And I got to hang out, thanks to Blastin for this, through most of the day, I got to hang out with Ben from Mods by Ben. And he was like just the most down to earth dude ever. He makes incredible, incredible modded mods, custom PCs for companies. Right now he's signed with Gigabyte. And he was just like, oh, you want to talk to Glorious? Let's go talk to them. Oh, you want to talk with V1 Tech? Let's go talk with them. Yes, we're going to talk to the, the owner of V1 Tech. You guys could expect a lot of cool stuff in the coming days. Um, but that's that's going to probably do it for day one because I, there there is like an Intel after event for VIPs and media pretty much counts as VIP apparently. So. If anything interesting happens there, I'll catch some footage of it, probably just with the DJI action cam. And we'll see what happens with that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. This, this is really just an absolutely intense, intense event. Where PAX was 
fairly large and there was a lot of gaming stuff going on. There is a lot of tournament stuff happening here. The PAX tournament was like nothing compared to this. Not sliding on PAX because that's really not, this is their priority here. But of course it's been awesome having Sega here and having Blast in here. And uh, I do want to let you guys know officially that I have become affiliated with Blast Labs Media. That is Blaston's media production company. And uh, it's really exciting, the stuff that we're going to be doing together. So keep an eye out for that. Now I have to find them because I am lost. So uh, yeah, if this is the end of the video, stay tuned for the next one. If it's not the end of the video, keep watching it, please. OK, bye bye. Let's go, nerds.